So, we're in a climate emergency, yet global emissions are still rising. There's lots of talk, but business as usual keeps carrying on. Fundamentally, we must change how our economy works in order to transition to zero carbon. This will be complex, and multiple considerations must be taken together. In response, Greenhouse has created a Zero Carbon Trade and Investment Toolkit. This is published in our recent report with the Green European Foundation. This toolkit contains blockers to and enablers of a zero carbon society. And within each, there are three families of interventions. Transforming business as usual, our government must, and our society must. So that's things we must start doing and stop doing, things our government must lead on, and things that must happen in our society and economy in response. This toolkit is a response to many challenges, one of them being global trade. The analysis in this report highlights three trade policy interventions that are required to get to zero carbon. Reducing the scale of trade and material consumption, localising supply chains to reduce the distance goods travel, and where possible, goods should travel by slower means of transport. That's smaller, shorter and slower global trade required to reach zero carbon. These recommendations come from Greenhouse Think Tank's analysis of UK customs declarations, which show that 21 million tonnes of CO2 comes from shipping, 11 million tonnes of CO2 comes from air freight, and a further 3.7 million tonnes come from road and rail. This means the climate impact of transporting goods to and from the UK is over 36 million tonnes. Of that, nearly half of the tonnage imported and exported is fossil fuels. The UK both imports and exports fossil fuels, and this represents over 20% of our trade carbon impact. This research also highlighted that fast fashion is incompatible with the zero carbon world. 6.6% of UK fashion is air freighted, but this represents over 79% of the impact. The UK only grows 3 in 5 of its apples and 1 in 5 of its pears, yet we could grow all our apples and pears in the UK. Roses get flown an average of 4,000 kilometres to reach the UK. There are also absurdities, like the UK importing almost as much salmon as they export. Confused? This is why we've created the Zero Carbon Trade and Investment Toolkit. To find out more, download the report or join the event.